Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Google Sheets CRM and bookkeeping tutorial. Today, I'll be focusing on our Google Sheets bookkeeping template called Sheetify Bookkeeping. And we'll be looking at both the monthly dashboard as well as the annual dashboard to help you better understand your personal and business finances. Now, if you wanna dive into all the tools and features that our Google Sheets bookkeeping template has to offer, what I'll do is add all the relevant tutorials down below in the description. Okay, so diving into these two reporting dashboards, let's first navigate back over to Setup. This is where you want to take the time to add your income categories as well as expense categories. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and filled these out. Then navigate over to Profit Goals and here you want to add your monthly profit goals. You can see for the calendar year 2024, for each of these months, my goal is 10K. And you can see the total goal down here for 2024, which is 120K. And then we have a few basic calculations down here in terms of monthly average, minimum and maximum, which is all 10K because each month, we've added 10K as our profit goals. Then what you wanna do is navigate over to income, and this is where you want to add your income records. For example, add the date, ID, the item, product, or service, then select the category. These are the categories that you added in settings, then the income amount, and tax and fees, if any. You can also leverage this tax calculator up here. Simply add the revenue amount. As you can see, I added 59 in here, and then the tax rate is 15%, so you can add that as a decimal in here. And so 15% of 59 is $8.85. And as you can see, I added that down here under tax for this specific revenue item. Then simply navigate down to expenses. And here you want to simply add your expenses similar to how I showed you under income. Then once you've done that, we can navigate over to monthly dashboard, our monthly budget overview, expense and income tracker. Simply navigate up to month and add the month that you want to analyze. As you can see, I've got July 2024 down here. We can see the total income, total expenses, profit and loss, and our profit margin across here. Next to that, we can see an income breakdown and you can hover over each of these breakdowns. You can see my biggest income for July was my web service, which brought in $1,700, and that's 70% of my income for that particular month. Then we have expense breakdown. Again, you can see I've only got two expenses for this month, and those are subscriptions, and salaries. You can then see a comparison between income and expenses. Then if we navigate down to income and expense, you can see the net income, tax and total for each of these categories that we added under settings. And we can see the same information, however, for expenses. Then down here, we can see our profit goal for the month, which is only 4.31% because remember we added our profit goals under settings, which was 10K per month. So we're quite far off that goal. Then down here, you can see amount to goal, which is still 9,569. And you can see your current profit down here. You can also see an expense breakdown in this bar graph based on our expense categories. Next, let's navigate over to annual dashboard. Again, this is where we can see an annual overview of our personal and business finances. Simply add the year in here, and again down here we can see total income, total expenses, profit loss, and profit margin. You can see our profit margin down here. Our expenses are incredibly high, so our profit margins are incredibly low for 2024. Again, you can see a comparison of annual income and expenses, as well as income breakdown. And again, our biggest income for the year of 2024 came from web services at 67%. Let's navigate back up to the top. You can see monthly income and expenses. In July, we had a profitable month. However, in August, we were in a deficit and our expenses were higher than our income. Again, we can see profit goal progress, and you can see that's because we've only added income and expenses for these two months. So that's sitting at 0.19% of 120K. We still need to earn 119,000 in order to reach our annual goal. We have a graph of our monthly income, and then an annual overview of our income and expenses. And this is a monthly breakdown. Let's navigate down the page. Again, we have an expense breakdown for the year and then our monthly profit. And then we can see more information about our profit for the year in terms of our profit and profit margin across the different months of our financial year. Then down here, we can see the same. However, our income is breaking down per category and you can see all our financial figures down here and you can see the same with expenses. We have our categories down here. If we navigate down to the bottom, we can see total expenses as well as total income up here. Then what we want to do is navigate down to reporting email. Here, you simply want to add the reporting emails that you want to send reports to. And if we navigate up to Sheetify and then come down to Reportify, if we click on send all reports, that's going to send a snapshot 
of all these different reports directly into the emails that you added down here. You can also send these individual dashboard reports by simply clicking here. And that's gonna send a PDF snapshot of those reports to the reporting emails that you have added down here. You can also click on set up weekly reporting and every Monday you will receive a snapshot of all reports. However, that is everything that we wanted to cover in this brief tutorial showing you how you can use the monthly dashboard as well as the annual dashboard so that you can better understand your monthly and annual performance in terms of your personal and business expenses and income. Again, if you want to learn more about this Google Sheets bookkeeping template, I will add all the relevant tutorials and resources down below in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you got value, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.